When Othello resident Alex dreamed of earning his bachelor's degree, he followed those dreams to Whitworth in Spokane. But now there's a shortcut through Moses Lake. If you have your AA degree or two years of college completed, you can now earn your Whitworth degree in Moses Lake at Big Bend Community College. Classes meet just two evenings and one Saturday every six weeks. If you share Alex's dream to complete your degree, visit whitworth.edu slash Moses Lake for details. The Moses Lake Manta Rays are looking for donations to help pay for equipment and traveling expenses. While the Moses Lake High School pool is under construction for a permanent roof, the Manta Rays are traveling to pools in Quincy, Soap Lake, and Wenatchee to practice. Two days out of the week, the older Manta Rays are traveling to Wenatchee High School to practice in a pool similar in size. Once the Surf and Slide Water Park opens in May, the team will begin practice there every day after school. The use of both facilities will cost the team. They expect to pay about $800 to use Wenatchee's pool and $12 an hour at the Slip and Slide Park. To make a donation or for more information, call 509-431-3573 or email mantaraiscoach at hotmail.com. In Northwest news, crews are working to rescue a man who was trapped yesterday morning in a trench that collapsed in Portland. Three men were replacing a sewer line when the ground gave way. Two workers escaped but went back down to try and rescue their co-worker. Officials say they were able to uncover the trapped man's face and he began breathing again. Medics are helping keep the trapped man stable with intravenous fluids and oxygen while crews work to free him. It's not all bad news in Portland. A tree is getting quite a bit of attention. A local family turned it into a wishing tree. Catherine Cook reports people have been sharing their wishes, hopes, and dreams. I wish my family has tripled the money. I wish for love. Did you see this one, Lily? I wish a pony for everyone. Wishes, dreams, hopes, branching out into the night. If you stand under this old chestnut tree in Northeast Portland, you can listen in. We can see what people wish for, and that's kind of cool. And I hope their wishes come true. It started last fall. On a day when Luke and Lola were bored, their mom got an idea. I decided we were gonna create a wishing tree. And so we each made a wish, we put it on, we made a sign, we put out some tags, and that was it. After a few days, the blank tags began blooming into wishes. People stopped, thought, and wrote. I think it just makes people connect and talk a little bit more. Uh, so it's been really, really positive. Sometimes sharing wishes out loud can be, well... It's really awkward. Especially the fun ones. I wish I could be a mermaid. Other tags transcend the tree. This one wishes for a cure for cancer and that one day people would stop hating each other. Maybe we'll come to our maybe not. It's the reality that keeps this wishing tree rooted. We have a second one. I'm like, what should I do with that one? <laughs> Maybe it'll be a different topic. Maybe wishes that came true. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.